Hi there friends, welcome to my channel where I normally put up ideas that are about kids ministry. But today I'm doing something totally different. Because I have had an amazing opportunity this year to do two Holy Land trips. And there are some things that I was very happy that I brought along with my trip and some things I wish I'd brought. So I thought I would just do a simple little tutorial of showing you the things that I found really helpful if you're planning on doing a Bible lands tour in Israel. First of all, we went when it was really hot. We went at the beginning of May, which was really hot, and we went at the beginning of October, which was even hotter. So it was really important that we had a good hat. Now, I like to use a visor, which was really helpful for me, but my husband had only had a baseball cap that the tour company had given us, and he had wished he had brought a hat with a rim because the back of your neck just really bakes. The other thing that I was really happy that I brought was an umbrella, and it wasn't because of rain. It was because I ended up using this thing for shade because it was so hot in that baking sun. So this was such relief when we were going on walks and standing around and listening to things and looking at all the old ruins. Having an umbrella for shade was so good. I can highly recommend that. The other thing that you'll need, of course, is sunscreen. So bring plenty of sunscreen. I was happy that I brought was invisible zinc. Now what I did every morning is I put this on my face under my makeup and I never had a problem with getting sunburned on my face. So that's something that might be really helpful to bring. The other thing that you need to bring, of course, is an adapter. Now I brought this from home. Okay, this is the type of adapter that I needed. The thing that my sons gave me, and they gave me this sort of adapter, which was really good for using your electronics plugged in. So I don't know where they got it, but it was really helpful to have for this trip. Really important is really good, comfortable walking shoes. I was so glad that I brought my hiking sandals this time. They were excellent. Now they had grippy, grippy bottoms, and they're not real pretty, but they were so comfortable. My foot was nice and cool. And in the evenings, I would just wash them in the sink. And then in the morning, they'd be a little bit damp. But of course, they'd dry out as the day went on. And they were fantastic. We did lots of hiking, lots of walking. And I really felt like my foot was very stable. I didn't feel slippy with them on at all. Guess what I'm doing for Mother's Day? I'm getting to go up and do a hike in a really, really interesting spot. just really good shoes for walking. The other thing that I brought this time that the first time I didn't bring is I brought some closed shoes like this, but I made sure again the bottoms were not slippy. The first trip that I took, I bought some Skechers that had a foam bottom and they were so slippery on those really ancient, ancient um, stones and sandstone in the old city of Jerusalem. Whenever we had a slight little incline, I was hanging on to my husband because I could feel how slippery my um, shoes were. So I made sure I brought ones that had good sticky bottoms. And, um, and what I did is I alternated wearing the hiking sandals and a closed toe shoe so I wouldn't get blisters at all. The other shoe that I brought was a little sandal like this that I could wear in wet or wear into the Dead Sea because one area of the Dead Sea we went they had really sharp salt crystals at the bottom and so you could go in with these on and not hurt your feet. Stepping on salt, that's the salt pieces, see that? And they're all underneath your feet, it's all salt. That's pretty cool, <laughs> but I'm ready to get out. <laughs> and I can also wear these in the evening as well and um, give my foot a break from the other shoes. So having those was really good as well. Now the other thing that was important was wearing clothes that were really 
comfortable. So I tended to wear these sort of caftan type shirts and with the sleeve on it they were great because it protected me from the sun. I didn't have to worry about putting sunscreen all over my shoulders and they were nice and lightweight and I just wore like a little camisole underneath and I found that you know you're gonna sweat you're gonna drip but it was much more comfortable and something that was loose fitting and I wore um, usually little um, tights or pants that went down below the knee so that if we went into any sort of holy place whether it was a mosque or whether it was in a church or whatever I was fully covered and didn't have a problem because they will not let you in churches and things like that if you are showing a lot of your leg if you're wearing shorts you've got to have your knees covered even the men have to cover up their legs they can't show their knees so they're getting their shawls to go into the church. Also, you've got to have your neck area covered, shoulders covered. So what I also did was when we went to the desert, I bought some a lovely little scarf from some Bedouins. And this One more for my son. One more of these. A blue one. And this was great just to have in my purse so whenever I needed it, I could just cover up. I also found it really helpful was we would be out in the hot, hot sun and then we'd get in the bus and you'd have the cold air conditioning, which felt great. Blowing on you, but you know, you can get sick when you go hot, cold. So having this in my purse to be able to pull out and just wrap around me was really helpful. The other thing I also brought was just a ca uh, pashmina like this because there were some evenings where it was a bit cooler when we were eating out by the Mediterranean and having dinner and I could just pull this out of my bag and put that around me instead of having to carry a sweater around so that was really helpful. The other thing that I brought which I was glad I brought was a little portable light like this so use in the hotel room or whatever but also it was great when we went through Hezekiah's tunnel. Other thing which I highly recommend is you got to bring your medicines but if you get a bit sick I love using limb sticks they're just wonderful I um, ended up giving some of these out and I've run out of this is my last sachet and I've got a little bit of a, a cough you know but these are great to have if you start getting a bit of a cold and a sore throat so have your medicines the other thing that was helpful to me was a really good selfie stick that was nice and sturdy now this is a really sturdy one it's called eye clip and it extends and the one thing I found about having a good selfie stick, this one actually opens up into a tripod as well. But there's so many people at a lot of these sites. And so you can use your selfie stick and your phone and just you can lift it up over everybody else's head and you can get a shot clear of everybody in front of you. I'm really glad that I brought that. So this selfie stick was great. Now let me see what else. Oh, the other thing that I brought this time was I brought a cross body bag and I bought a one with lots of zips. And I found using this much better than using a fanny pack or a bum pack like I had on my first trip because I'd get all sweaty and I'd have this thing wrapped around my waist, whereas this one was much more comfortable with all the heat. Now I'm gonna show you now what I would pack in my bag um, as we go out for day trips. I'll show you what I put in it. So it has lots of zips, 
And what I put in it is, of course, lip balm. Keep my name tag in there. Perfume, in case it gets, it gets stinky and hot. Some lipstick, of course. And then I've got a pen always with me. And a little antiseptic wipe that I keep in that front pouch. And then always keep my passport with me. So I've got my passport with me all the time right in there. Then in this pouch, I've got my sunglasses. And then I've got my little selfie stick, which I use for filming. So I keep that in the front part of this. And then on the back, I always keep, again, more tissues, which are always good to have. I've got my extra little camera that I use for filming. Oh, there it is. And then I've got a little travel wallet that I keep in there as well. And then, of course, I've got some personal items in the zip, as well as some um, Panadol and things like that. I keep in here, my back, I keep a charging cord. Plus, I keep another power pack in case I need to charge the phone or my camera. And this is my camera charging cord to go with a little power pack. And then, this is really important too. I just want to show you guys this. This is all my extra camera cards. And then the other thing I have here, you might see, this is a storage device that I can download all my videos and um, photos from my phone straight onto this little device and then I can delete them off my, my phone. So that has been really helpful and it's still haven't hit a, a limit at all. It's been really good. So this little bag has just been absolutely wonderful. And I'll also share with you what I would pack in a backpack for our day trips, which is really important that you have things with you. So let me just show you what I packed for that. So this is what I've packed in. We've got these little speaker things that the tour people give you. So you gotta have that with you. Also have a charging cord for our phones, for a camera, and then I've got battery pack so I can charge with it if I run out of battery. Mints, okay, I've got a pen. What else do we have in here? Oh, I've got my favorite tea bag in case I want a hot drink. <laughs> Now let's see what we have here. I've always got water, which you have from the hotel. So I've got a jacket in there. The other thing that's been so helpful is it gets so hot. So I use this umbrella to protect me from the sun. Then I've got a brush. I've got my glasses in case my contacts get messed up and I've got to take them out. The other thing I have in here is a notepad in case I want to write something down. And if you have any snacks or from breakfast, an apple or something like that, well, we've got a muesli bar here as well. The other thing I threw in here, which you haven't needed, is just a, a poncho, a cheap little disposable poncho. And then, of course, you're going to need sunscreen. So having a little backpack like that has been wonderful to take everywhere with us. I also would like to mention that having American dollars for buying things was fantastic. So we got bit of American money out to take with us. We also used our card. It was really easy that way. So I'm not going to rip you off. Come on. That would be ripping off. Four would be ripping off. Come but on, Sarah. You don't trust me. Well, I've got the three. I've got the three. I can pay the three. I own a shop cost yeah. million dollars. I will rip you okay. off in two dollars. Look at that. Ripping off the locals. Amada. Amada. Yes. Amada. Yours? Greg. Greg? Yeah. Nice to meet you, yeah. sir. Amada. Tim. Tim. Nice to meet you. Father Tim. and son? No. <laughs> So it's, it's okay, so not on my age. So you're making me proud now. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's... What did you want to have me when you are 16? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's possible, it's yeah. okay. Hey. My father, yeah. he had my last brother, he was 65. <gasps> wow. How young, how old is his wife? 55. Wow. Really? Wow. See, how many is possible? But it's from two mothers. Okay, okay. It's two mothers. First wife, he had seven children, and sick after she and died. how old was he when? My father married very young. He was, well, he was he? 16. Okay, well, there you go. I had wished that I had brought two things that I didn't bring this time. I wished I had brought some dresses that were lightweight and loose-fitting. Okay, that would have been great to have. The other thing is we did quite a bit of hiking and walking in um, outdoor areas. And I think I would have liked having my walking sticks. I didn't know we'd go hiking in Israel. I would have brought my sticks, my hiking poles. 
they would have been really helpful. So you can check with your tour guide if you're going to be doing some of those sites. Like we went to Gumla, which was up and down and up and down. Whoa. We went to Masada. We went and hiked to some beautiful lookouts. And they were great, but I was just always very conscious of stepping downwards. And stepping upwards fine, but going down and keeping my balance. Last thing I wanted on a tour was to fall down and hurt myself. So I think having hiking poles would have been a, a great thing to bring along um, when you have more of an adventuresome sort of tour. And that my second tour was like that. Now I also thought I might do a video on what things I bought as gifts or even as a Bible teacher when I went there. So I did pick up things. If you're a Bible teacher or teach kids, I bought some pretty neat things in um, Israel that are gonna that I'm gonna take back to use with my classes. Sex old old hot looking for little treasures. There we go. So if you'd like me to do a clip on that, let me know. So I think that's about it, guys, that I have to share with you. If you found these ideas helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like me to do some clips on the footage or some of the vision that I've took, because I've took a lot of video of my trip, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and if you'd like more simple ideas for kids ministry or things like that, check out my channel and subscribe if you like. You know, it's actually free to subscribe and we'll catch you next time. Shalom.